A group of enthusiastic and committed archaeologists set off on a fascinating expedition in the heart of Egypt in March 2019. Their aim was to reveal the ancient burial site's well-kept secrets, which had been buried for millennia. The great pharaohs of ancient Egypt were buried at this location, which is rich with historical echoes and the majesty of the past. These royal remains had patiently waited for discovery, while successive dynasties rose and fell, each leaving their own distinctive stamp on the sands of time. They were buried beneath the dry sands, hidden within tombs and pyramids. The archaeologists set out on their objective, facing many challenges, yet maintaining their passion. Their frequent exposure to the scorching Egyptian desert sun served as a constant reminder of the difficulties they faced. The pressure of expectations, unpredictable sandstorms, and logistical difficulties pressed down on their shoulders. But they persisted because they were driven by a love of history and a desire for knowledge. A tomb that had been undiscovered for around 4,400 years was the result of their efforts. The layers of sand and stone were meticulously peeled back by the archaeologists, revealing a gateway into the past. Time seemed to have stopped in the depths of this mausoleum. A physical link to the past that had been inactive for ages could be felt in the air, which was heavy with expectation. In addition to the tomb's age, the exceptional state of the interior paintings is what made this discovery unique. The beautiful carvings and colorful paintings that adorned the walls served as a reminder of the ancient Egyptians' talent and craftsmanship. The details were remarkably well kept, and the colors remained startlingly vibrant, as if millennia had only existed for a brief time. This amazing discovery was made in Saqqara, a location that had long been the center of archaeological research. Since the 1800s, Saqqara has drawn both scholars and adventurers in search of information about Egypt's mysterious history. The sands of this vast archaeological wonderland contained the remains of lives lived tens of thousands of years ago, lives that had influenced the fate of a civilization and the development of history itself. A hidden treasure trove of history that spans many, many years is buried beneath the sandy layers of Saqqara, a unique location. A group of curious explorers made an incredible discovery in the month of July of the year 2018 when they discovered a gorgeous mask made for highly significant graves. People from all around were drawn to this discovery because it was so stunning and unique. But the most astounding discovery was yet to come, and it took place in March of 2019. The same team of explorers discovered an extraordinarily old tomb at this time. The tomb still appeared to be in excellent condition and well-preserved despite the many years that had gone, which made this discovery even more astonishing. When we think of ancient Egypt, Magnificent items like the enormous Sphinx and the imposing pyramids of Giza frequently come to mind. But there is still so much more to learn about Saqqara's ancient cemetery. If you could go back in time to roughly 3100 BC, Egypt would have been a strong empire that occupied a significant territory along the Nile River. These ancient Egyptians ruled over a sizable portion of the area around the Mediterranean Sea for about 3000 years. The history of ancient Egypt is like a puzzle with many undiscovered parts and one of these places is Saqqara. The smaller, less obvious features that show how people lived, what they believed in, and how they valued their past are just as important as the large obvious monuments. The tombs and other buildings in Saqqara tell tales of people who lived in the past, about kings and queens, about faith in gods and the afterlife, and in the many amazing things this civilization accomplished. The first dynasty and the first pharaoh in ancient Egypt marked the beginning of everything. This was the start of an adventure that spanned around 30 centuries. Up until the Roman Empire assumed control in the early 1st century BC, various groups dominated this region. The legacy of the former pharaohs is still felt in the area, even though they are no longer in charge. These kings, known as pharaohs, flaunted their wealth throughout history by building magnificent tombs. Large artifacts created to honor these ancient kings and queens can still be found today. It is simple for us to comprehend what they did and how their deeds affected Egypt's history because ancient structures and artifacts have endured for so long. Already mentioned, Saqqara once housed a sizable collection of antiquated historical artifacts. It is conveniently adjacent to Memphis, ancient Egypt's capital city, and is not far from the well-known Giza pyramids. The city of Memphis, which was constructed during the reign of the first pharaoh, was situated near to the Nile River. Memphis was a thriving city back then, with 30,000 residents living there during its busiest. According to experts, the earliest kings interred in Saqqara were from the Second Dynasty, and they were interred in tunnels. But numerous other pharaohs were also buried there, and their tombs and monuments may still be seen in Saqqara today. Saqqara was revered by the Egyptian pharaohs as a sacred location to bury their revered deceased throughout antiquity. The Saqqara necropolis was revered for many centuries due to this regard, 
which persisted even throughout the time of Roman administration. Since the 1800s, explorers have been drawn to Saqqara's enormity, which spans an area of about four miles in length and about a mile in width, in an effort to solve the mystifying riddles that lie inside its depths. Early on in the history of excavation, human curiosity occasionally resulted in regrettable actions, such as the removal of priceless artifacts from the ground. The Pyramid of Djoser, a monument named after the Third Dynasty king it houses, is one of Saqqara's most notable landmarks. This amazing pyramid dates back to at least the 27th century BC and is regarded as one of the earliest intact stone buildings in the world. Its importance stems not just from its age, but also from the fact that it serves as a reminder of the architectural brilliance and cultural ideals of ancient Egypt. The enormous Djoser Pyramid Complex was partially uncovered in the 1800s, but there are still a number of undiscovered artifacts buried beneath the desert sands. Saqqara is still a tempting location for anyone looking to connect with the distant past because of its enormous size and historical significance. The location is a reservoir of antiquity, including the remains of ancient civilizations, beliefs, and ways of life. People have recently become more curious, which has sparked an investigation into the secrets of Saqqara, an ancient burial site. Our grasp of past ideologies, way of life, and pursuits that once flourished in the mists of time is being improved by this investigation. Reputable archaeologists are currently carefully trying to not only unearth, but also protect the site's ancient structures, including its tombs and buildings. Even though in the past, some people may have removed things from Saqqara that they shouldn't have. This includes the site's tombs and buildings. This coordinated effort gives us priceless information on the fascinating events that took place in ancient Egypt. 35 burials were discovered at the Saqqara burial site between 1982 and 1986 alone, making it a veritable gold mine of discoveries. Even more amazing artifacts have been discovered from this prehistoric depository over the years. One of the amazing discoveries, a beautiful mask made of brilliant silver that was painstakingly fashioned by ancient artists, was made in July 2018. This discovery was a monument to the commitment of individuals who research historical relics, providing often hidden views into the past. Four months after the discovery of the silver mask, another unexpected find was made, adding to these amazing disclosures. This time, seven underground graves were discovered, unearthing a wealth of information and artifacts. Scarab beetles and mummified cats were among the intriguing finds that offered hints at the complex rituals and beliefs of the people who formerly roamed these grounds. The layers of Saqqara's past keep revealing fresh information despite the passage of time, like chapters from a long-forgotten book. The history of this ancient location is still being pieced together by the keepers of Egypt's antiquities. Caretakers discovered a second tomb in December 2018 that may have been older than 4,400 years. This discovery was noteworthy. The vibrant artwork and artistic expressions that formerly decorated the walls of this old resting place were magnificently preserved within this tomb, allowing us to see them. In addition to offering a fascinating account of the ancient inhabitants of this region, this window into the past also reveals their regard for the afterlife and their time-defying artistic prowess. Like a patient historian, Saqqara continues to reveal its untold tales to people, and the intrepid explorers who plumb its depths are constantly on the lookout for more spectacular items from this legendary and fascinating place. April 13, 2019 marked a turning point in the story of Saqqara's revelations when a big declaration reverberated throughout Egypt. Under the direction of Mohammed Megahed from the Czech Institute of Archaeology, a team of archaeologists were hard at work excavating close to the Saqqara burial site in an effort to reveal long-buried mysteries. They discovered a number of mysterious graves, thought to date from the 5th dynasty of ancient Egypt, among the dunes and ruins. This dynasty was established more over 4,000 years ago, when Pharaoh Userkaf was installed on the throne. The final pharaoh of the dynasty, Pharaoh Unas, whose rule lasted into the middle of the 24th century BC, marked the end of this roughly 150-year period in Egyptian history. The crew discovered a number of these old 5th dynasty tombs close to Saqqara, each offering a glimpse into the life of those who lived during that long-ago era. A large granite column with tributes to Queen Setebor rose from the sands as the digging progressed. She maintained her position as one of the last queens in this line of kings, and she was particularly notable as the wife of King Jedkar. The presence of this massive column provided yet another layer to the story of Saqqara's history, illuminating the figures who were instrumental in the ancient Egyptian tapestry. A very interesting comment from the Guardian of Egypt's ancient artifacts surfaced in March 2019. A tomb of great significance from the mysterious 5th dynasty, which lived more than 4,000 years ago, was discovered during the course of historical inquiry. 
This finding evoked a sense of amazement as it gave light on a time in history that has long piqued the interest of historians. Surprisingly, the tombs inside seems to have defied time itself despite the passage of millennia, maintaining an astounding level of preservation. It appeared as though history had cradled the tomb in its arms to preserve its secrets for future generations to see. Murals that were vivid and detailed came to life on the walls, serving as a visual example of the great craftsmanship of those who had decorated this holy place. By using their interpretations as a guide, the scholars arrived at the persuasive theory that this tomb could have been the final resting place of an important historical figure who was well known during the 5th dynasty. This person, Kali, left behind echoes that reverberated throughout time, bridging the gap between antiquity and modernity. It's interesting to note that the tomb's design was a striking example of the ingenuity and imagination of the artisans of the time. Unusual pattern emerged, resembling the letter L. It began with a small passageway that took the inquisitive traveler down into its depths and into a chamber where ghost stories were recounted. The area then became larger, revealing larger rooms that must have had a significant meaning in the rituals and beliefs of the time. The tomb was guarded by a door that was intricately carved with beautiful artwork, displaying the intricate workmanship went into the rituals of the deceased. We may see not only the lives of the individuals who formerly lived in these historic locations through the prism of these discoveries, but also the deeply rooted rituals and beliefs that shaped their ascension into the hereafter. The tomb serves as a symbol of human yearning to penetrate the barrier separating the world of the living from the world of the dead, to leave an imprint on the fabric of time, and to carve one's presence into the annals of history. These echoes of the past are now audible thanks to the meticulous, persistent efforts of contemporary explorers, exposing hints of lives that used to flourish deep within Egypt's desert sands. The alluring picture in these paintings, which shows Kali seated at a table covered with gifts, emphasizes the enormous significance that Kali possessed and the crucial part he played in the ancient Egyptian tapestry. We are given a glimpse into the past through the lens of this find, one that sheds light on the creativity, culture, and traditions that flourished during the mysterious Fifth Dynasty. We see not only a person's likeness, but also the essence of a legacy that has endured for millennia in the painted images. Kali's tomb, a revelation imprinted in time, serves as a window into the artistic splendor that once decorated ancient Egyptians' daily life. It provides us with a priceless chance to see through the mists of time into a world where gifts had great symbolic meaning, and the act of keeping one's biography itself was deeply significant. The tomb serves as a reminder of an age's inventiveness by exhibiting the craftsmanship that made it possible for complex details and significant scenes to remain, bridging the gap between then and now. The prehistoric way of existence is revealed with fascinating clarity with every spadeful of ground, moved by those who discover the mysteries of history. Curiosity is piqued regarding Kali's expensive funeral and the identity of this important person. Kali's tomb's architectural design is similar to that of the Fifth Dynasty pyramids. This alignment suggests Kali's significance in the society of his day, putting him among the eminent figures who made an enduring impression. Kali's importance is evidenced by the entrance to his tomb, which was built in a style similar of Pharaoh's tombs. In light of this, its design assumes even more awe-inspiring qualities, underscoring the steam in which Kali was held. The past reveals its secrets to us through such particulars, luring us to piece together the picture of a long-gone life. We can infer details about Kali's identity from the vibrant tomb paintings, which resemble pages from a visual journal. Experts surmise that these paintings may have been created using special green materials or other royal-only hues. Whispers from the past reveal a close affiliation with King Jedker, suggesting potentially a bond of friendship or alliance that transcended the ages, even though historical evidence may not conclusively declare Kali to be a monarch. Kali held a position of enormous prominence during the rule of the Fifth Dynasty, which is abundantly obvious when one considers the magnificent workmanship that adorns the walls of his tomb. The detailed and exquisite scenes painted inside the tomb depict a life that was closely woven into the web of authority and influence. It's reasonable to assume that he may have had intimate ties to those in high positions of authority, possibly even the influential leaders of the era. In the changing sands of time, King Jedkare, an outstanding Egyptian ruler, rose to power in the 25th or 24th century BC. This king was distinct from his contemporaries and held the kingdom for a period of time that may have exceeded 44 years. Jedkare had a different goal in mind whereas many rulers of his time were committed to building impressive temples in worship of the sun god Ra. In search of rare metals and other important resources, he focused his attention on the Sinai region. The legacy of Jedkar goes beyond his own endeavors. During his reign, Egypt's territory became larger after it assimilated the neighboring nation of Canaan. 
Jedkari's greatest accomplishment, though, may have been in the area of societal change. He coordinated a massive overhaul in the functioning of government by consolidating power under a single authority, which is very similar to the feudalistic ideals. The effects of this restructuring were felt throughout time, forever altering how ancient Egypt functioned. Jedkar's strategy had its advantages, but not everyone in the annals of antiquity agreed that it was effective. Some historians contend that Egypt's ultimate loss in power and influence may have been influenced by his concentration of power. However, Egypt was experiencing a sea change during his time in power. The practices relating to the passage from this world to the next, which were of utmost importance to the ancient Egyptians, were likewise forever changed by Jedkari. Jedkar changed the entire nature of how people were buried in his desire to guarantee a secure passage to the afterlife. The tombs and ceremonies that developed under his rule are evidence of his significant influence on society's cultural and spiritual facets. Jedkare's legacy is revealed as a multifaceted tapestry through the passage of time, woven with threads of territorial expansion, societal restructuring, and a commitment to upholding the memory of the fallen. The significant influence Jedkare, the king of the fifth dynasty, had on Egypt's history is evidenced by the nearly heroic aura his legacy took on after his death. This respect persisted through the change from the fifth to the sixth dynasty and didn't diminish when the dynasties changed. The influence of Jedkar's legacy persisted even as time passed, extending into the territory of the Old Kingdom, which emerged nearly 200 years after his rule. His achievements extended well beyond his lifetime, influencing both the funeral rites and the structure of Egyptian government. Jedkare, the king of the fifth dynasty, discovered his ultimate resting place among the sands of Saqqara. His mausoleum, which had a colossal stepped pyramid that reached about 170 feet in height, served as evidence of the prestige he wielded. This enormous memorial to his memory reflected his power during his reign. His tomb, however, did not fare well in history, which was like sand through fingers. Over the years, thieves who wanted to steal its contents overturned it, leaving traces of their theft in their wake. Despite the historian's laborious efforts to sift through the layers of the past, the passage of time has obscured many facts of Jedkara's life. One intriguing theory among the unsolved mysteries involves a relationship between Jedkara and Kali, the person whose tomb was found nearby. The elaborate funeral that Kali received suggests that the two had a personal bond that went beyond differences in position and power. Even the possibility of a blood relationship has been raised as a possibility, implying kinship between the two figures. It seems as though the echoes of history are calling out to us to delve further into the complexities of their relationships and discover the threads that bound these two people together across time. Experts agree that the finding of Kali's tomb is significant because it has the potential to reveal previously undiscovered layers of history. It acts as a gateway to learning more about the life and political ascent of Jedkare, the fifth dynasty's enigmatic monarch. The tombs enable us to investigate not just the individual lives, but also the greater context of the eras they lived in, much like chapters in a book of antiquity. It's interesting how the location of Jedkare's tomb is important to this story. Historians and archaeologists hope to unravel the tapestry of Jedkare's life by contrasting the close proximity of these two resting places and looking at the decisions that defined his legacy. As a result of these revelations, the long-lasting reputation that Jedkare enjoyed that lasted well beyond his time becomes a puzzle that needs to be solved. Each new discovery brings a scene from antiquity to life. These tombs demonstrate the complex network of connections that link the fifth dynasty pharaoh to earlier periods in Egypt's history. Echoes of lives lived centuries ago whisper their tales within the ornate walls and the meticulously arranged chambers, giving us a look into the intricate fabric of a civilization that once flourished along the Nile. Egyptian Minister of Antiquities Al-Anani made a request on April 13th for more than 50 ambassadors to visit a spot close to Saqqara. This group included notable people and representatives from several civilizations. Yusra, a well-known Egyptian singer and actress, was one of them. Everyone posed for pictures in front of the intriguing discovery. The great things that experts are discovering are making them very happy since they may shed light on Jedkara's life and governing style. 2011 saw Egypt gearing up for a significant inflow of tourists, but things didn't go as planned. On January 25th, protests around the country got underway as a result of people's rage at how cruel and corrupt the administration was. Young people organized these protests, were nearly two weeks in length and caused a lot of problems. One million tourists had to abruptly end their vacations and fly back home because of the unrest. President Mubarak eventually announced his resignation on February 11, 2011. But for many years, Egypt's leadership remained a problem. As a result, few tourists visited the country at that time. 10% of Egyptian jobs before the big change were tied to tourism. 
Despite all of the problems, the tourism industry still lost money each month, roughly $1 billion. And to make matters worse, a truly awful incident that happened in 2015 worsened the situation for tourism. Some suspect that a bomb caused the crash of the Russian A321 over the Sinai Peninsula. More than 200 passengers lost their lives when the plane crashed after it took off from the well-known tourist destination of Sharm El Sheikh. Following that, some nations discontinued flights to this location. This made the situation for tourists considerably worse. Egypt's tourism suffered greatly, and they as a result of the combination of people being outraged in this plane tragedy. The country struggled to get the tourism sector back to where it was before the crisis. They also needed to inspire confidence in foreign tourists visiting Egypt. More than 11 million tourists choose to travel to Egypt in 2018, after tours resumed there in 2017 as a result. Those in charge hope to see the same number of tourists as they did before the dramatic change in 2011. The tourism industry has started to improve. Fortunately, they have recently found a lot of incredibly ancient things close by. The man in charge of Egypt's antiquities declared that 2018 was the year of antiquity discovery because wonderful artifacts were being found all the time. In the realm of archaeology, new and exciting things happened every week. The authorities are hoping that these fresh discoveries, like the very magnificent finding made at Saqqara in March 2019, will increase interest in traveling to Egypt. These discoveries have sparked a lot of enthusiasm. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel and to like and share this video.